All right, guys. Listen, I went to pause the video, and something happened, and so now I had to start restart another video. I'm going to see if my daughter can figure this this movie pro out that I use. Um, see if she can figure it out how to um, how to edit. If not, it's going to be two videos, guys. I don't know what to say. That's all I can do. It might even be three because I'm gonna have to pause again when I do the chicken and all that. So hopefully she can edit it. All right, so I got all the potatoes in here. I have, can you preheat the oven for me, 375? I got olive oil in here. Oh, I need my seasonings too. Oh yeah. I'm so misheveled with this, um, with this iPad situation. All right, so I'm just throwing in some garlic, guys. I got my minced garlic here. I'm gonna throw that in with the olive oil. I'm gonna get my salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder. Press B. Um, I'm going to put some pepper. Oh, I hate this pepper shaker. I used to do. You know when pe pepper shakers, they just don't, a shaker just doesn't, just doesn't um, come out of the holes very well. Right. I got the pepper. So aggravated about that. I point, I paused it and something came up and it completely, completely went off the pause. Uh, what are you gonna do? All right, uh, onion powder. I'm gonna mix this up and probably put a little bit more on because I wanna make sure all the potatoes get coated, guys. Okay, let me get a spoon. No. Get this mixed up. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna season it a little bit more because, um, You know what I want to do also? I want to go in the back pantry and I want to look. Um, well, no, it won't be three videos. I was just thinking of that. If I pause it, when I pause it, it should pause. Hopefully, it better not do it again, really. I'm going to go in the back in one second and I'm going to get this, um, this seasoning that I have back there. I want to see. I might put it on the potatoes. I feel like something different too, guys. You know, I feel like just doing something different. The pepper and salt. Let me go bring it back to me one second, guys. I have these um, these seasoning packets back there. I have, let's see, I have Italian. Yeah, uh, this Italian salad dressing, I'm gonna put on the chicken. That's what I'm putting on the chicken, guys. That's gonna be really, really good. Um, but I was thinking maybe I could put something on the, um, on the potatoes. Make the potatoes different. See, I have ranch, ranch, I have fajita. I'm not gonna do ranch because not everybody likes the ranch. Although they might like it on the potatoes. I like ranch. Yeah, I know. They're all pains in the butts. All right, so I just have the Italian the Italian dressing, so I'll use that for the chicken. So I'm just going to do this salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, fresh garlic, guys, and olive oil. Mmm. Mmm. Smells so delicious. Now, I already sprayed my um, pan with, with, um, the spray also non-stick spray this way it just it keeps it easier because this um potatoes will stick and i i don't like when they stick because when they when they stick then they break up you know what i mean like when you go to mix them they break up and they break and then they're not you know not good so what i'm going to do is cook this at 375 probably for like 45 minutes and then for the last 15 20 minutes i'm probably going to put them on like 425 so they get a little crunchy okay well, let's see i hope that this Oh, this is a good, perfect, perfect. Get all that garlic and stuff out of there. Because I want all that flavor of that fresh garlic. 
Okay. Flatten this out. Get them as flat as you can, guys. You might not be able to get them all flat, but get them as flattened as you can. This way, they'll roast really good and they'll get nice and crispy. Ooh, this looks so, you know, I did mix them up. Oh, well, everybody will pick out what they like. That's all it is to it. I'm not gonna sit here and separate everything. Like that could be annoying. All right, I'm just gonna get some rose, um, some thyme to put on this. I always say rosemary when I'm talking about thyme. I don't understand why I do that. Put some rosemary, so put some thyme. Oh God, guys, mix that out. Just about out. Mm -hmm. mm, this is gonna be good. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna get the chicken out and start cutting the chicken. And I'll be back when I do that. I'm gonna press the pause button. Let's hope it stays. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut the chicken up now. The potatoes are in the oven. Oh, give me one second. Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. 45 All minutes. I right, got that going. Um, I got three big fat chicken breasts here that I'm gonna use. And I have like a little bag of um, chicken left over in the refrigerator. Um, I probably should have used that, but I'll see, I might need it. If I don't need it, I'll use it for something else maybe tomorrow for lunch or something. So I'm just gonna cut these in, in you know, fairly small pieces, not huge pieces, like nice size little chunks. And um, I'm gonna put that, that, this Italian seasoning on it, guys. I think I, did I have two in there? I'm not sure if I had two. I think, um, well, if I don't have two, I'll just use one. It'll work out, or I'll have to. Um, but yeah, I wanna do something different. You gotta change it up, you really do. Otherwise you just feel like you're in a rat race. You know what I mean? You gotta change it up, guys. So, yeah, but you know, how much can you have chicken? You gotta, you gotta have chicken different ways, you know? So I hope this, um, I'm sorry about having to do that. I'm probably gonna have to do two, you know, it's gonna have to be two videos because the other one, oh, gotta be careful. The other one didn't, I don't know why it didn't cooperate. When I, when I pressed the pause, didn't, um, something came up, it was like numbers or something. I don't know, I, all this technical stuff, guys, I, I can't even, it's just so, it's very frustrating when you don't know what you're doing. Very frustrating when you don't know what you're doing. You know, so. So get these cut, and whoop, it's like ice skating this chicken. You gotta be careful when you cut, you really do, because you can hurt yourself. Again, um, I would probably normally use thighs for this, but I don't have any. I have bought, you know, to be honest, I haven't bought um, chicken thighs in a couple of weeks. I usually always buy them, they're usually always in my in my hauls, but um, I haven't bought them. You know why, guys? Because like I told you guys, I've been using the stuff that's been in my freezer. I'm telling you, I don't really have that much stock left in my freezer. I might have, I think I might have a pork roast. I might have, um, and maybe some pork chops. But other than that, I don't have any, I think I don't have any more chicken or anything like that. So I'm doing pretty good. And that's why I haven't bought chicken thighs because I've had, you know, I've been really using, utilizing all my stuff. So, and that's the purpose, you know, that really is the purpose. So I feel good about that, guys. I really do, I feel good about that. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this cooking. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it all up. I'm probably gonna cut this down the middle, get more out of it like I always do. Um, I'm gonna cut it all up, I'm gonna dry it good. And then I'm gonna season it with the Italian dressing and probably, you know, my normal, um, my normal seasonings, guys, the, the salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, because um, you can't have enough of that. Hi, Jen. Jenny's in the living room. She was napping. She's supposed to bed very late and gets up very early and is tired. So she was napping. But honey, I'm doing a video. Okay, you gotta wait a second, okay? 
get this chicken cut up. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting up this chicken and then I'm gonna come back. Hopefully this will work again, guys. And I'll show you the rest, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna put the chicken, chicken in the pan now. Hey, cool it. I'm gonna spray the bottom of the pan with olive oil very, very well. Very well, like I said. And then I'm gonna put olive oil on here, on the chicken. See the chicken, guys? Cut it all up. I dried it off really good. You know, as best as possible. Put some olive oil on it. I'm gonna put mm, some of the Italian dressing. I'm probably gonna put two packets, I think, that it's gonna need. And I'll do one and a half and then we'll, we'll see. Let's mix it up a little bit. Mix it up. Mmm, this looks good. It's really, really good. This is gonna be yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Yummy. <laughs> right, yeah, I definitely need another one, guys. Because there's a lot of chicken here. I think I'm, I'm going to see how this looks in here. I think. Okay. I was going to make a vegetable, but I have carrots. I don't know. Maybe I'll make some canned corn. Canned corn is just easy just to throw together. You know? I'm going to put some grated cheese on it too, guys. Love grated cheese on my chickens. And um, it's going to go nice with the Italian dressing. See, the olive oil is going to be nice. It's going to kind of set the... Um, set the Italian dressing up. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna put any salt in this because I think this is gonna be very, you know, I, I'm afraid that the, that the Italian dressing will have a lot of sodium in it. So I don't really wanna take a chance with that. But I will put a little bit of garlic powder. Woohoo! Gotta make cooking fun. Woo! I'm losing it. And some pepper. <laughs> this stupid thing. Just a little bit, because my husband does not, ooh, does not like a lot of pepper. So, don't wanna ruin the dish. <sighs> this thing has to go. Mix it all up. Give it a nice mix. Mmm. Smells so good, guys. So yummy. All right, here we go. Mm, look at that. All right, so let's put it on this pan here. On this pan. Get it all out. Put this pan, put this bowl away in the sink in one second. Spread this out, guys. Now this will be good because this will um, be able to flatten out really well, so it won't burn. No, so it won't. Um, you know, it will get nice and, and crispy. It won't like you know, um, what's the word? Like boil. You know what I mean? It won't like it'll it'll bake nice, um, roast nicely. This way it's all basically touching the bottom of the pan. Okay, I think I might have a drop of time left. Oh no, I think I threw it out. I don't have any time left. I'm very upset, guys. Very, very upset about the time situation. I'm going to wait probably about 10 minutes before I put this in because, um, Look at all that yumminess. Because um, the, the potatoes are gonna take like 45 minutes to an hour, and um, I don't want this to be done way, way beforehand. All right, so I'm gonna wait 10 minutes, put this in, and then I'll be back, guys, and it's all ready and done. All right, guys, the chicken, oops, not to get you off me. The chicken's done, it came out amazing. It's so nice and tasty, guys. And I have the, um, the potatoes cooking, 
in the oven here. I'm going to get, yeah, my hands are broke on my oven. You see that? We gotta fix it. We keep fixing it and it keeps coming off again. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get the potatoes out of the oven. All right, guys, there's the chicken and there's the potatoes. Look at them. So good. I'm so excited. We're gonna make our plates now and then I will show you. All right, guys, here are our plates. That's Jenny's plate over there. She's got salad tonight. That's my hubby's, and that's mine. And yes, I'm having carbs tonight. I'm having some potatoes, guys. There's carrots, yams, and um, regular potatoes in there. The chicken came out delicious. Can't wait to eat, guys. And that's what's for dinner tonight. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for supporting me, guys. And um, don't forget to hit that like button on the bottom, that thumbs up button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.